so let's check it out here we have uh, the bearing uh, holder the hub um, I took out the first race just with a 32 millimeter uh, oh, put it away. this one fits uh, perfectly in there you can put it over here then this is uh, I cleaned it up already this fits uh, perfectly uh, on this inside um, inside the hub and you can just press it out like that you can also hammer it out but I recommend pressing it out uh, if you hammer it out just uh, try to cut with the Dremel uh, over here and uh, then you create some little bit of space uh, so the metal can can uh, collapse a bit and you can uh, hammer it out easily so now for the other race where the other bearing lifts over here I already made a cut here as you can see oh the screen is falling out um, so just take a Dremel tool you can pull like this or like this Be safe for goggles, of course. Just make sure you um, don't touch the hub. So over here you can see I have a little little bit of clearance still. So uh, I'm gonna uh, go over it one more time and then uh, we're gonna hammer it out. Voila. Then put it on something good and flat. Um, take a, a punch and then just go round and round. Look, you, you feel, you get a feel for it when it starts to move. You see it's, it's already moving. The edge is coming so uh, and if this uh, makes a hairline crack inside um, almost I think then um, the metal will have a, an inch um, a thousand uh, a thousand of an inch to, uh, to move and that will be good so it's moving so I'm I'm glad I'm gonna gonna cut it any further just gonna hammer it out round and round easily Up. And you hear I'm touching the metal on the device. So you see, it's coming out nicely. Now we have to uh, let it float, <laughs> let it uh, hover over here. We don't need to pinch it hard anymore. Yeah, yeah, this would be good. Just go around a bit. Yeah, there we have it. Nice, clean. Didn't touch, uh, didn't touch the hub, as you can see. And over here we have the race, the bearing race. And you see, I didn't cut through it, but I'll clean it up and I'll show you what we did. Take off my glasses. Please, I can't see shit with them. So I, I cut it just enough, just enough to create a little hairline crack. That's what you're, what you're after. Let's 
it's uh, put on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. Right over there, there's a hairline crack right on my nail. Yes, that's what you want. And it's not completely true. Else it would have been uh, even more uh, easier. But um, the metal can can just come together a bit more on the inside and that's enough to create some space to pop, 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 hammer it out like, like nothing. No effort, no damage. That's how to do it without special uh, pulling tools because uh, if you're doing this, uh, suppose you don't have a, a pull tool to uh, to put just over the edge here and then you can you can press it out with uh, the press over there but uh, there's always a way to get it out with a, a good dremel and a, and a punch and a hammer so there we are i'm gonna press in uh, the new bearings and uh, catch you in the next one